Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I was going to do a live tonight and my internet is not great. So until tomorrow at 1230 uh, a.m. You're going to get a video. Best bets I like for UFC type of versus, versus Spivak 2. All of my predictions are out for that. So make sure you click on the playlist and you go and watch all 11 of them. Actually, it's 10 now. I believe Java Bash Ren, Chris Gutierrez at this point that I'm recording this has been gone. So I'm pretty sure there's only 10 fights, which is very weird because it's not, you know, not a very big card. So again, uh, let's, let's start. So some interesting bets here. So I, I always use underdog fantasy. I really, really like underdog fantasy. Just gives you a little bit more options. If you don't feel comfortable, just betting money line. And sometimes I think you can find better bets to hit, uh, than money lines. So first one for me is a use of the law. As you see right here, he is for two takedowns higher or lower. I really, really like use of Zalal on uh, two takedowns. I think that's a really, really good bit, bet, uh, bet. Even if he's not going to get a single leg or a double leg, I really like his uh, uh, takedowns inside the when he's when he has the clinch. I really like what he could do with that. So that's my first one for sure. Next one is Carl Williams. And here you're kind of betting on the fact that each round, unless he gets a finish, each round he gets a takedown. Or he could get three takedowns in, in one round. Let's be real. Especially if Denise can get against the cage, get himself up, and then Williams gets him back down. I mean, there's there's a good instance, good uh, possibility for him to get a couple takedowns on a round. Because the only way that Denise wins is by knockout. The way that Carl Williams wins is probably by getting him to the ground, beating him up, and then getting him back down over and over and over and over. Not a huge finisher is Carl Williams. But he's probably going to get a lot of takedowns. So I really like uh, three takedowns for Carl Williams. So I'm going to stay completely away from Yana Santos. 46 and a half, seven strikes. Even though she's fighting Chelsea Chandler. is a very good possibility that that happens. The, the, the big one I like, honestly, with this one is Alan Nascimento versus uh, uh, Rafa. Wait. It's um, Jeff Alfilio, 31 and a half significant strikes. I, I, I like 31 and a half significant strikes. I wish there was some takedowns here for him, but as you see, there's not. I don't really like all of these that they're offering. Uh, two and a half takedowns I like. I would have liked for Java Bachelorette, but either way, Carol Rosa, 70 and a half snap and strikes, that's a lot, but she's fighting a girl that's going to strike with hers, and her perform coming off the performance she had in her last one, 70 and a half isn't bad, I'm definitely going to go higher on that, Danny Barlow, 49 and a half significant strikes, I like that, the only worry there is that if he's able to catch him and hurt him and get him out of it early, that's also a possibility, it's the same thing with the guy that he's fighting, or Kazama, uh, the Giragori Char Charolopoulos, um, 40 and a half seven strikes. I think, I don't think Kazama can withstand 40 and a half. So basically 41 and that bet goes out. So under 10 and a half minutes of fight time, lower. I just don't see how that's going to happen. So five picks, you could do up to three picks. But if you get all 10 correct, you see it's a 10, a 10 multiplier. But if you get, if you just do standard, you don't get any insurances. It's a plus 20, which means you put 10 down, you could win 200. If you do a flex, which kind of protects you a little bit, which I personally do, personally do like. You know, if you get five correct, you get 100. If you get four, you get 25. Can't really beat that. I mean, of course, if you do five, you're not going to win as much. I mean, 50, you get four, you get 1250. Still, you still come out on top, but you got to play those odds a little bit. And again, I think if you want to be a little, a little risky, even though these bets here aren't great, you can go Alan Asamento lower on 10 and a half minutes of fight time. I think higher, obviously. You can go there. Um, uh, Charlopoulos first uh, 
10 and a half minutes of fight time? No. Danny Barlow? No. Carl Williams, I think, higher. But you could also do 33 and a half seven strikes. I like that a lot. In use of Zalong, 47 and a half seven strikes. Higher for me as well. That's five. 10 multiplayer here. So it actually kind of came out the same as it typically would. Yeah, came out the same thing. But those are some bets that I like. And they Underdog Fantasy has some really, really good ones. So for, for MLB, they have tons of them. Again, I really, really like using them. Now, FanDuel doesn't have any other odds. They just have, like, money lines. So the, the last thing we'll talk about here is I think Luciano wins. She's a minus 170. I think Solal wins, minus 400. Uh, Williams, Rosa, Johnny Parsons is in the fighting, Garagori, Nascimento, Danny Barlow, Chandler. I don't know how Chandler is a plus 114. That seems nuts. Uh, Marsco, I think, wins. Jeff Vestray Gutierrez is off, and then I see Spivak winning that one. So basically, just picked favorites in this on this one. I, I these are the fighters that I like. I mean, you put a dollar and win fifty six bucks. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. Put five bucks, two eighty three. Obviously, you do ten with five sixty six. Now, if you want to be a little risky, here's what you can do. Alan Cara. Let's see. Does this one? Nope. Okay, so we're just doing money line, as we were saying. Jesus, get out of here. What are we doing? So go here. Alan Cara, Zalal. I don't see Denise winning. I can't put him there, but Panikanza? Uh, sure. Garagori, Filio. I don't know who's picking Filio, but all right. There. Oh, I did pick Chandler, so she was an underdog. So odds obviously will be a little bit different. So a couple for sure bets that I like. So I think Damon Jackson at a plus 186 isn't bad. You know, Chandler, I think, is a pretty safe bet in this matchup, to be honest. Uh, Tay Board at plus 124 isn't bad either. It's, it's, it's just not that bad. Again, these are going to be better when you can do this if I go the distance. Does it go over one and a half? Those are some really, really good ones. I don't see, see Kazama winning this. So two to one for Garagori, even though Garagori is not great. I, I think I think he uh, is, is a lock for this matchup. An absolute lock. So a couple locks with these with with the with this card. Carl Williams, Zolo, but minus 400 is a little crazy because Aaron's looked real good in his last matchup. So, you know, Carl Williams, 100%, absolute lock. Gary lock. Uh, Danny Barlow, minus 340. I like him a lot. Chandler, I like a lot. So there's that. That's still plus 481. And, you know, do 10. That's 48 bucks. You're going to have to bet a little bit more money, but those are for sure winners right there. I don't see Yana Santos. I don't see how she could win this matchup, but those are some bets. I really hope I helped you guys pick, uh, you know, pick some good bets, show some good bets. There'll be some better ones as the week goes on, but as always, guys, thank you so much. Have a great night. See you at the next one.